Hey guys, welcome to another RT Trio video. So, this month is my month, and I created the mood board, which is this one, and you can get um, a copy of it if you would like to participate in our RT Trio Facebook group, the link for which is in the video description, along with the videos from my two fellow collaborators, Mike Deacon and Abea Grob. So anyway, this is um, the mood board I created and going based on this and after thinking for it about it a little bit um, and if you've been following me and RT Trio and my art in general especially lately most of my work is based in or inspired by nature I seem to really just it seems to be my fallback go-to thing constantly um, so my mood boards usually reflect a lot of that I'm getting to a reason why I'm saying that. So way back, be, I think uh, before the pandemic started, maybe around at the time it started, I picked up these two Strathmore um, journals, soft cover journals. Fun fact, I don't, I like the paper in the journals, but this particular kind of soft cover, you can kind of, I think, see how marked up it is. And I don't mind a marked up cover, but this particular, soft cover is not my favorite. The paper inside is wonderful. So this is the toned tan, this is the toned gray. When I first started working in these journals, I decided to use them to play with my colored pens and markers, specifically my gel pens. I started out just doing these kind of drawings, um, which were okay. There's some that I really like. That one is really great. Um, I also used some just black and white things that I had laying around. It was sort of my way of practicing my sketching or one more way of practicing my sketching but also using supplies in my art room that I don't, I feel like I don't want to get rid of in all of my million times I've purged things but at the same time I don't use them nearly enough. Um, I quickly gravitated to, in that mindset, to gel pens. And I sort of have a love-hate relationship with gel pens, but I did discover that although I still don't use them enough, I do love working with them on this kind of colored background paper. And I discovered I went from doing these kind of drawings very quickly to doing these sort of drawings, very nature-inspired, and then abstracted nature. Some of these have been turned into digital images and stickers. And you can see, I mean, I, I live, this journal is full. I filled, I filled up this one. This one is completely full. I started a new one. This is the toned tan, uh, toned gray, upside down. And so I was thinking about this month's mood board and the fact that I really am trying to get back into incorporating these drawings occasionally in my work. Um, and I just, I really love drawing. And if you said tomorrow, you have to just pick one art style and the supplies that go with it and you have to get rid of everything else, it would be all my drawing stuff, drawing and my watercolor, if I had to just pick one. Um, anyway, so we are going to experiment this month because as I was thinking about this month's mood board and this particular kind of gel pen drawing, I had a thought. And the thought was, I wonder if I can do these kind of drawings over a wash in the background of some gouache paint. Would that work? Would it mess up the gel pens? The answer to that is no. No, it won't. So if you do any kind of mixed media, you know that using any kind of pens over paint um, can be a struggle. And it's a love-hate relationship. This is a watercolor gouache in the background. It's not a very thick coating. It's just a wash of it, and then I let it dry completely, and then I went over it with the Jelly Roll gel pens, uh, a black one. It worked great. So I thought, okay. We were at the beach recently. I'm gonna put this to the side. And I got these, this picture of these wild bleeding hearts, which I will include in the Facebook post in the Artsy Trio group if you want to be inspired by said photo. And I thought that's a good um, photo to be inspired for one of these abstracted drawings by. And so we are going to do a wash. I wanted, and the page that was next in the journal was black. 
put a piece of tape here to remind myself that this page is gonna stay blank for the minute because I really wanna work on tone tan, I think. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a wash of some paint on the background. I'm gonna let that dry. Then I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a drawing over the top I picked these gel pens out of my step, my bag of pens um, that I thought were colors that were inspired by the mood board. And we are going to see where this goes. And of course, I'm going to use the other side to make notes. And like I do, this is my experiments journal, for those that don't know, where I try different art experiments, see what works, see what doesn't, make notes about it. And um, let's get started, shall we? I'll be right back. I'm gonna speed forward through the process a little bit, but I'll be back at the end.
Okay, so <clears throat> this is what I came up with. I absolutely love it. Um, <clears throat> I t uh, when I do these kind of drawings, I just take inspiration from nature, from what I've seen, what I've taken pictures of. I take a lot of pictures nearly daily with my phone in and around the neighborhood or wherever I happen to be. And then I just abstract the shapes and the colors and the form I see from that photo to create the doodle or the drawing, which is definitely what I did here with these uh, wild bleeding hearts. These were actually wild out in the woods somewhere where I was over the weekend. And um, this, I love this. I love the way it came out. The gel pens worked great over the light coating of gouache in the background. Um, that was a fun experiment. I would definitely do that again. Although I will say again, I think if you have too much paint in the background, you're going to have a problem. So just a light coating and it because it's a matte finished gouache paint um, and it's not a um, shiny acrylic paint, it wrote really well on them. And again, because it's a thin coating, it's not thick. So this is what I did this month. What are you going to do? I'm going to go over this way now and make my notes and I'll be right back. Okay, so there we go. I will definitely do this again because that was a lot of fun. I debated about pasting the sample in here with the rest of my notes because that definitely turned out cute and I could use that in a journal or something somewhere else, but it is really about this experiment. And to be honest, I could recreate that again. So there you go, there you have it. That was a lot of fun. What are you gonna do with this month's mood board if you're gonna do anything? I will encourage you to go watch the other two videos. If you're not inspired by mine, maybe you'll be inspired by one of them. And join the Artsy Trio Facebook group and share what you're doing. Uh, ask questions. If you have anything you want to add, leave your question, comment, or concern down below or over in the Facebook group. Be sure in the Facebook group to tag me or one of the other teachers in the post so that we can see it and we don't miss anything. Don't forget to check out the video description again for the relevant links, ways to support the free content here on my YouTube channel. A lot of my social media and everything else is in my link tree list of links. Also, I have a happy email address down there if you're so inclined and anything else relevant is down there. Like, share, and subscribe. Most importantly, stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.